Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's been so long since I recorded the video, but here we are. I'm back again with another interesting video. And yes, um, in this particular video, what we are simply going to do is to design an event, you know, flyer. It can be for church, it can be for parties, it can be for anything at all you want to use it for. Everything is actually going to be done inside of Canva. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. <laughs> So just in case you are completely new to Canva, all you need to do is to come to create a design. Okay, you should see this pop up. And over here, what you should just look out for is social media. Okay, social media. So just click on social media. And while one of my designs or my template is featuring over here. So just click on Instagram post. Okay, once you click on that, you should be brought, you know, here to the design interface where we can start doing stuff in canvas so you should see a blank canvas and this is where we are actually going to get started with so many interesting things so first of all press r on your keyboard to add a shape okay then just increase the shape to any size at all you want you can feel free you know at this point of the design you can simply feel free then you can just duplicate okay by using ctrl d to duplicate okay and we have this one also over here then we will duplicate again using Ctrl D and bring this over here. At this point, we can't really see what's going on because everything is yellow. So to create the differences, we'll click on any of them. And I'll change this to red. And I can change this to maybe blue. And we can have something like this. Now select everything and make it a bit bigger. You can just incline it a bit just to have something like this. And we'll also increase so that it covers every part of our blank canvas. So this is the background. Okay. So now that we are done, we are going to be building up on this simple background we've created to make it look a bit complex, you know, but it's not actually going to be so complex. All right. So all we are simply going to do is to come into element. Okay. And you can just search for zip or zipper. Some, you know, depending on where you are, you know, where you are from, you might say zip. Some people also say zipper. So just come into element and we can just see we have a lot of interesting options over here so i would simply want to blend you know this part with the zipper because i just don't want it to be looking like two shapes we've just added okay someone should see it and be like hmm, how did you do this you know that's what i'm trying to achieve over here so i'll just place this here and just to ensure we are getting the proper angle just click on this shape come to position and you should see we have the rotation over here, okay? So it's 10.5. So I'll just click on this and just also make it 10.5, okay? And it should be perfect. So we can just increase this and we can see how it's looking. It's as if we just zipped the two parts of the shapes together, you know? Oh, my phone just fell. Anyway, so we can just duplicate this as well. And this is also 10.5. So we just click here and um, just rotate it properly so that at least it can be looking good and i can just put this over here okay and i think it's looking perfect the next thing we want to do is to search for rubber okay so just search for rubber or plastic if you search for rubber and don't find it like how i'm not finding it just come back and search for plastic okay so you have that over here once you come to graphics there's so many interesting elements and i think that's just one of them so you can just increase the size to make it look g the only thing is i'd want this aspect to be at the top okay so you come to flip and you just flip horizontal flip vertical and you can see we, we've just done it like a pro like how we always do pro 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 levels you know <laughs> anywho now the next thing I want us to do is to add some text. Okay, so press T on your keyboard to add a text. And I will just say King Family First. Okay, First. And we'll just increase the size. This is something simple we are just going to say. Now, let's change the typeface to Futura Display. That's what I'm going to use. Okay, nice one. And we'll just try to tuck it in and make it look better. So come to the spacing and we use the line spacing. Okay. Then we'll change this to white, the text color to white. Now, oh, should we use white? I don't think white is going to look good, but just stick with me. Come to background, the effect and background. Okay. 
and we'll you know, do some adjustment. The roundness, I don't want it to be too round. The spread, I want it to come closer. And the background or the color, I just want it to be white. Now, white on white, not good, not good. Okay, so we'll come to text color and we'll make it red. Okay, but I want us to apply every color we have here in this text. So the first one can be red. The second one can be blue. Okay, and the last one can be yellow. All right, then we'll just rotate it a little bit and increase the size. So this is what we have over here. So let's assume this is for a church design. Okay, like for a church, maybe they are trying to have some fun things going on. We can just use this. Okay, so the second text, I'm going to use my sweet, sweet poppins. Okay, so we keep it simple like this. And we'll just select everything and just say fate or the family. You know, let's assume this is a, a family something. Okay, we can just keep it very simple. We can make it, make it bold. Select everything and make it bold. And the color, I would want to keep it black. Okay, that's how South, you know, South African would say black. So we'll just make it black. <laughs> and just don't come for me if you're watching me, I beg you. So we will keep it simple like this. Okay. Then the next thing we, we are going to do is add some extra text. All right. So just keeping the alignment. Okay. Sorry, the rotation. We'll just duplicate and we'll remove this, make it normal and maybe change the color to white. Okay. Now for here, I can say featuring. We can duplicate this and take the uppercase off and we'll take the boot off and we'll just add and with some interesting names. So I'm just going to copy and paste from the previous design. So, so that at least it's very quick and easy. Replace the names here and I'll just make it smaller. Okay. Something like this. And I can also just say register today. You know, something simple. So register today. All right. Maybe it's a free event. If it's free, just add it. Maybe the rate is free. But I'm just going to keep it like simple. Then we want to put the information. Okay, so we can see this is going to be competing with this text. Okay, so we'll try flipping to see. So let's click on the background and let's flip. Okay, I think this is better. Okay, then we will just see um, Sunday, if that's the day, 16th. All right. And we can maybe just decide to make all of this smaller so that it doesn't look like one is bigger, one is smaller. Okay, nice one. Just rotating it to make sure everything is looking cute. And we can just select everything and move it in here a little bit. Okay, then with this shape, we'll have to correct it because I just want us to make sure that, you know, everything is looking beautiful. Nice one there. Okay, then we can bring this in a little bit so that we can add the year 2025. Okay, now... We can just bring this also over here and add the location. So I'll just see location goes here. Okay. Then if there's a phone number or something, we can just even add it here. Or better still, we can just copy the style and apply it to the important stuff. Okay. So the location and the phone number. Okay. So I can just see the phone number also goes here. So Two, three, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then right click, copy the style and paste it here. All right, so you can see what we have at the moment. Now, I think this is looking good. You know, I think it's fine, but we can actually make it better. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is to select everything and just keep it a bit smaller. Okay, then I'll just deselect by holding shift and just you know selecting what i want to deselect okay just to keep this space out a little bit uh -huh. i want to make sure that the rotation is the same for all so we come to arrange 5.5 select this make it 5.5 and we'll also select this and make it 5.5 okay now let's add some you know, some stuff to make it interesting. So I'll search for lantern. All right, lantern. There's so many lanterns we can add. 
so you can add any of them but i'm going to add this particular one okay then we'll just increase the size then we just come to edit in edit we are just looking for the blur right then we we'll increase the intensity okay so so that at least we are adding some depth into our design so you can see how things are actually looking very beautiful okay then we'll right click on this to close this first right click on this come to layer and come to bring to front okay so we have something like this i think it's beautiful and we would also see splash and with this if you want to add you know some splashes around fine but already this is looking good and i think we can you know keep things the way you know things are looking right now let me know what you think about this design in the comment section below what did you do to make it better i would also want to know if you have any ideas but yes the name is benjamin mm. So here's the good news. The good news is that I have been onboarded fully, officially, as the community manager at Canva for Africa, meaning that we are looking at expanding Canva more into Africa to do a lot for Africans. And, uh, you know, as part of it, I'll be setting up the communities, bringing all of you together, training you intensively on Canva, just making sure that when it comes to Africa, Canada also has, you know, a presence over here. And there are just so many things in store for you. And I want you to stick to this channel because uh, the community manager is actually speaking. So a lot of updates, a lot of things you need to know firsthand as an African. You know, if we are expanding into your country, I'll give you the announcement over here. So I think you should watch out. There is a lot of information and updates that I'll be sharing on this channel. So that's the good news. And I just hope you are happy for me because I'm actually happy for me. And if you're an African, now we are going to empower every African to design. The name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity. And I should see you in my next video. Peace.